Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys solar systems. So today we have got one system to do from the user uh, Mars the War God. We changed his name now. So Mars the War God um, and yeah he has got one system on the workshop for us so I've got that already um, ready to roll. So it's called the uh, Pragagorgian system. I hope I'm saying that right but probably not because... I'm notorious for butchering the spelling that you guys put in these. But yeah, here we are. So uh, let me just quickly enter that again. Right, here it is. So yeah, the Pragorgian. Really hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, here it is. What, uh, yeah, Mars the War God has prepared for us. Right, we have got a uh, lot of reading. Right, uh, orbits, labels. Right, there we go. Right. Yes, here we are. Okay. Uh, welcome to whoever is reading this. I made this system and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, no, do not unpause the save. There's a glitch in the game that happens when you speed up the game too much. Yep, I know about that. Um, the glitch can make moons go out of their orbits. Yeah, it makes stuff eject out of the system. Right, so uh, let's get started. Uh, the first object is the only and main star of the system. So uh, Pragorg. It is really similar to the sun. If you want to look at the stats, feel free. Yeah, that's something I normally do. So here it is. So fairly uh, similar on the... I mean, it's larger in the radius... 13.5 suns in radius, but yeah, it has less mass. So if we go into um, kilometers down here, so yeah, a lot bigger than the sun, but yeah, mass is only 0 0.3, so yeah, larger, but um, less massive. Similar temperature as well, but luminosity is a lot uh, more crazy as well. Right, so there's the star. So now, hopping out. So um, Geru, the first planet from uh, Pragorg, really hot. It's just the texture of Earth's moon modified. Ooh, it has two moons if you want to count a tiny comet. So here it is. Oh, that does look good. So yeah, the normal moon, but tinted with an orange. I like that. Oh, yes. Look at that. Uh, realistic. Oh, it looks way better in realistic with the glowing lava as well. Yes, that's very cool. Um, next up, we have got... So here's... A... Oh, look at that little one there. Hey, so it has a moon. So is this GR1? Yeah, so that's GR1. Okay, um, biggest moon of Garou, really hot as well, the most volcanic moon on the uh, system. It somehow managed to capture a comet, it is now orbiting really close. Kind of reminds me of the moons of Mars, but a little more extreme. So there it is, and it's a red moon as well. But yeah, there you go, that's a nice, I like the uh, colour choices. I think that goes really well, and that moon is nice. So there you go, so they're chilling there. Right, so hopping out. Next up we've got, uh, yes, that's the um, moon. Right, so next up we've got, um, how do you say that, Iam over here? Or Lum. Right, here we go. So this one's actually losing material, right? Um, the second planet from um, Prakorg uh, can reach up to 411 degrees. This planet is barren and its orbit is really close to Geru's. And yeah, it's losing material. So not things are not going well over here. So there's Lum. So no moons. So that's like a Venus and Mercury sort of combined there. Right, next up we've got a blue one. The home of an intelligent species called Timoleons. Here it is. Oh, hello. That's looking... I like the way that looks. Oh, yes. All right. Um, the planet is really similar to Earth with temperatures around 19 degrees Celsius and the poles um, are not inhabited. Right. So there it is. I, I do like the way that looks. I really like the way you've done that with the colours, the colour scheme. I like the high elevation with the white areas using this planet texture. I like that. That's cool. City lights behind it as well. Looking good. Uh, let's check the stats on it. Down here... 93 and 27. Yay, not too bad. Right, um, yeah, home of intelligent species. Uh, the pole's not inhabited. And it also has a uh, space station as well. Hey, there you go. So what's down here? What objects are used? So he's used one of the probes. Hey, looking good. So um, a space station, which I took the texture of Cassini. That's cool. Hey, right. Uh, next up, oh, I see a black tower object. So we've got Tim B over here. Uh, Timoleon moon made completely of iron. The grey part is raw iron on the surface. The more reddish part of the moon is rust. Hey. Uh, Timoleon scientists are still trying to understand how the iron oxidized so it could create the rust there. They have already discovered that it doesn't have an atmosphere nor oxygen. And I take it no water either because iron does react with water and oxygen um, to rust. So interesting. Hey. Right. Um, heading out. Right, next up we've got um, Erna over here. A planet um, which the temperature is not bad for life, around minus 9. Okay, could be worse. Um, and the size is a bit smaller than Earth. It has an atmosphere. Uh, Timolitan people say this is the best candidate for them to colonise, like how Mars is for Earth. So, okay, so this is like the Mars equivalent. Um, the orbit is um, really close to Timor. Hey. But yeah, honestly, quite a nice Mars sort of clone here. It's got... Um, bluish atmosphere so i like it he's taken the concept of mars made it a little more friendly looking i guess with the blue um and yeah i like it that's cool so 
There you go. Yes, yeah, so that's the Mars sort of... Um, yeah, the Mars replica, and it's fairly close to the blue one's orbit, so pretty cool. Right, next up, we're taking a bit of a jump. Okay, so uh, Irilla, a gas giant with lots of different gases, thus a lot of uh, different colours. And it has the rings uh, similar to Jupiter's. It has no moons. I like what he's done with the colours, because obviously the, the English spelling, which is obviously where I'm from, is different to the American spelling. So it's C-O-L-O-U-R-S, but obviously in America, it'd be C-O-L-O-R-S. Uh, so I like how he's done that. Hey. And then there's um, obviously big ring around it. Looking good. It has no moons, remember. So very cool. Right. Heading out. Next up, we've got another blue orbit over here. Okay, a gas shine as the same or with the same competition as Neptune's at the equator and sulfur at the poles. That's quite an interesting. So obviously ne Neptune, methane, ammonia, obviously hydrogen in there as well. But in the north and the poles, sulfur. So sulfur, a sulfur ice giant, sulfur ice dwarf. I mean, how, how large is it? Okay, it's pretty large. One point four four sulfur ice giant. Cool. That's, that's a cool concept. Like sulfur mixed in with a normal ice giant. That's pretty cool. Then it also has a um, uh, researcher probe around it as well. So there it is. Cool. I like that. That's cool. Um, Neptune is at the equator. Okay, it's so pole at the cause. Uh, Timolian scientists launched a probe called uh, Imifitu. Uh, moon searcher EMS for short. They're trying to find if it has moons or not. So I wonder, is there any moons? Doesn't look like there is. Right, okay. Next up, we've got Febram over here. It was once a habitable planet with life. It was launched really far from Pragorg, and it's now in complete tundra because of the gravity of um, Irilla. It has a frozen supercontinent called Febria. Oh, he's using interesting texture on that. Look at that. What is going on there? Supercontinent. That is cool. I like that. I don't think anyone else has really done anything like that before. Hey, that's, that's cool. I like it. And then it's also got a moon, a tiny moon with ice on one side. Ah, look at that. Hey, that's, that's cool. Look at that. Hey, I like it. Right, so there are those two. Right, so he said um, it was the Febria. Oh, no, 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 the gravity of I, really. So where's So that was the gas giant with the uh, sulfur one a little closer in there. Right, okay. All right, next up, we have got Frotus over here. Another Tundra planet. doesn't have any moons. has a really funky orbit. So we can see it's a lot more inclined, a bit eccentric as well. So Frotus 716. Uh, it was a 22639. So here it is. So obviously the light on it is obviously pointing down a bit due to where the star location is. So there's that one. All right, next up, we have got... Okay, so we're coming up to the uh, last ones in the system now. So we've got uh, this one over here. Uh, Leti, Locke, the only dwarf planet in this system. It has a green bluish surface uh, color because it is covered in oxidized copper. Oh, look at that. Hey. Okay. Uh, Timolian uh, scientists are trying to find an explanation uh, for the copper to be oxidized because there's no oxygen on it. It also has a Uranus like axle tilt. Hey. So that would be, if we look at it, yeah, tilt on its side. So that'll get that weird Uranus effect of its uh, seasons. So the north and the south poles will be the hottest and coldest areas. Right. There you are. Right, and then lastly, over here, we have a red one. The furthest planet. It's mostly made of sulfur and is really dark. Only has one moon. So as we can see, very, very dark indeed. That's what it looks like. So it's dark red with a bit of like uh, dark blue or indigo sort of. I guess I mean, it's probably black as well in there. So there it is. And then there's its moon over here. Really hot moon. Can reach up to a thousand degrees plus. It's unknown why it's hot. The second most volcanic moon. That's pretty cool. So it's super far away from the star, but... It's very, very hot here. Completely molten. Hey, that's cool. So, yeah, very, very hot indeed. Right, there we go. So that does it for the uh, Pragorgian system. I hope I'm saying that right. So, yeah, very nice. I liked it. It was a pretty short one, but, yeah, pretty sweet one. I liked it. I liked the um, concept. I liked the backstory behind the objects as well. Very nice indeed. And, yeah, a massive thank you to uh, Mars, the uh, war god, for uh, sending that system in. So, yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a good one. I enjoyed it. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys want to send in your own simulations for this series as well, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. Then you can drag and drop your uh, systems um, in my Discord on the correct chat. And then, yeah, I'll be in the waiting queue um, for me to do them. But, yeah, it was a really short one today. So, I'll probably try and sneak another one in uh, this week as well. 
Um, well, I am recording these at the weekend all now, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to sneak in one uh, one more for um, the coming week. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that, hopefully. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to go for 30 likes on today's video, guys. Subscribe for more as well. Helps on the journey to 20,000 subscribers. And again, a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed on the journey so far. Really, really appreciate it. It means the world, guys. And yeah, that all said and done. Make sure you guys all have a great day out there. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.